hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel hope you all will be fine uh, first of all i would like to thank you all for supporting me and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and i request you to watch the full video it's me then the financial analyst and i will tell you about what's happening in the iraq and uh, when actually the revaluation is happening and all the news is related to iraqi dinar revaluation so without wasting our time let's start the video in a significant development for iraq's future recent strides toward reconciliation between the iraq federal government and the kurdistan regional government krg mark a critical moment in the country's political landscape for many years, disputes over governance, revenue sharing, and territorial control have created a divide between Baghdad and Erbil, leading to instability that hampered Iraq's growth and development. However, the current atmosphere is one of cooperation and progress. A delegation of the highest-ranking officials from Iraq, including members of the Ministerial Council of Economics, the Ministry of Planning, Trade, Interior, and the Central Bank of Iraq, recently traveled to the Kurdistan region. This impressive delegation also included representatives from the finance and oil departments, which are crucial areas of contention. These Iraqi officials met with their counterparts from the Kurdistan region to work on reaching a mutual agreement that addresses key economic, legal, and political concerns. This visit underscores the seriousness and commitment on both sides to resolve long-standing issues, not just superficially, but in a way that builds a sustainable partnership moving forward. The breadth and depth of the delegation are notable. It signifies that the talks are not confined to a narrow agenda. Instead, they span multiple sectors of governance, from financial regulations and trade to security and legal frameworks. Involving key ministers and department heads in these discussions demonstrates the leadership's recognition of the complexities at hand. It also highlights the importance of the Kurdistan region in Iraq's overall vision for economic stability and political unity. This collaboration reeks of national reconciliation, a phrase that reflects the profound implications of these talks. Reconciliation between the Iraqi government and the Kurdistan region could signal the end of decades of political fragmentation. It's not just about resolving disputes over oil revenues or territorial claims, it's about building a unified Iraq where all regions feel represented and have a stake in the nation's future. This historic effort, if successful, would represent a monumental shift in Iraq's internal politics. Moreover, national reconciliation has far-reaching consequences beyond just political stability. It would open the door for more robust economic development as the coordination between Baghdad and Erbil would facilitate smoother business transactions increased investment opportunities, and better management of Iraq's vast oil resources. When internal conflicts are resolved, the government can focus more on rebuilding infrastructure, improving public services, and attracting foreign investment. The potential for Iraq's future is enormous if the reconciliation process moves forward as hoped. A united Iraq, where the federal government and the KRG work together harmoniously, could emerge as a stronger regional player with improved economic conditions and increased political influence. This reconciliation could also serve as a model for resolving other internal conflicts in Iraq, further solidifying its path toward peace and prosperity.